Chapter 3 Revelation And to the angel, messenger of the assembly, church in Sardis, write, These are the words of him who has the seven spirits of God, the sevenfold Holy Spirit, and the seven stars. I know your record and what you are doing. You are supposed to be alive, but in reality you are dead. Rouse yourself and keep awake and strengthen and invigorate what remains and is on the point of dying. For I have not found a thing that you have done any work of yours meeting the requirements of my God are perfect in his sight. So call to mind the lessons you received and heard. Continually lay them to heart. Obey them and repent in case you will not rouse yourselves and keep awake and watch. I will come upon you like a thief. And you will not know or suspect at all what hour I come. Yet you still have a few persons, names and Sardis, who have not soiled their clothes. They shall walk with me in white. Thus shall he who conquers is victorious be clad in white garments, and I will not erase or blot out his name from the book of life. I will acknowledge him as mine. I will confess him, his name openly before my father and before his angels. He who is able to hear, let him listen to and heed what the Holy Spirit says to the assemblies, the churches. And the angel, messenger of the assembly church in Philadelphia, write, These are the words of the Holy One, the true one, he who has the king of David, who opens and no one shall shut, who shuts and no one shall open. I know your record of works and what you are doing. See, I've set before you a door wide open, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and guarded my message and have not renounced or denied my name. Take note, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie Behold, I will make them come and bow down before your feet and learn and acknowledge that I have loved you. Behold, you have guarded and kept my word of patient endurance, have held fast the lesson of my patience and the expect expectant endurance that I give you. I will also keep you safe from the hour of trial testing which is coming on the whole earth whole world to try those who dwell upon the earth i'm coming quickly hold fast what you have so that no one may rob you and deprive you of your crown he who overcomes is victorious i will make him a pillar in the sanctuary of my god he shall never be put out of it or go out of it and i will write on him the name of my god and the name of the city of my god the new Jerusalem which descends from my God out of heaven, my own new name. He who can hear, let him hear. Let him listen and heed to what the Spirit says to the assemblies, churches. To the angel messenger of the assembly, church in Laodicea, write, These are the words of the Amen, the trustworthy and faithful and true witness. Their origin origin and beginning and author of God's creation. I know your record of works and what you are doing. You are neither cold nor hot. Would that you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. For you say I'm rich. I have no I have prospered and have grown wealthy and I am in need of nothing and you do not realize and understand that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Therefore, I counsel you to purchase from me gold refined, tested by fire, that you may be truly wealthy, white clothes to clothe you and to keep the shame of your nudity from being seen and salve to put on your eyes that you may see those whom I dearly and tenderly love. I tell their faults and convict and convince and reprove and chasten. I discipline and instruct them. So be enthusiastic and in earnest and burning with zeal and repent, changing your mind and attitude. 
Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears and listens to and heeds my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will eat with him. And he will eat with me. He who overcomes is victorious. I will grant him to sit beside me on my throne as I myself overcame, was victorious, and sat down beside my father on his throne. He who is able to hear, let him listen to and heed what the Holy Spirit says to the assemblies, churches.